Hey guys, welcome to the channel. You know it's Thanksgiving. What does everybody like on Thanksgiving? Turkey. Real question is, have you ever got a turkey with the chainsaw? I think there's one over there. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the channel. Happy Thanksgiving. Decided to, uh, do a video kind of geared toward Thanksgiving and thought it would be fun to carve a turkey. So I've got a piece of poplar here. It's not very big, you know, about 12 inches across and my goal is to carve a small turkey, a jake. That's a male turkey. Let's see if we can get a beard in there and uh, see how it turns out. Never carved a turkey before so uh, be sure to stick around and see how it goes. Well guys, like I said, we're going to be carving a turkey out of this piece of poplar for Thanksgiving. Um, good news is we won't have to pluck the feathers or put them in the oven when we're done. So, I'm going to fire up chainsaws and uh, get going in just a minute. As usual, all the power tools and attachments that I'm using, you guys will be able to find in links below. If I can get a link, anything you purchase through those links helps support this channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and let's start making some sawdust. along pretty good so far if you're enjoying this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe thanks
it'd be a little tough to see. Let's bring you guys in close here again. We've got those turkey feathers on the body going. Everything's swooping back. You know, so it's all these back angle cuts the best that I can, trying to keep this nice and tall. I'm sure if we trim this down and had a bigger piece and this sloped back more, I could get in and get a better angle. But, you know, first turkey carving. So it's coming along pretty good. Piece coming down here on the nose. We've got his gobbler. We've got just a small beard going, both legs. He's not standing up. This guy's kind of like sitting. So I didn't do the full leg length. Kind of had to make it work, you know, with the size of the, the uh, chunk that I cut. Stay with me. If you guys are enjoying this carving, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you guys enjoy my work and you really want to just help support this channel and the work that I do, you can check out my Patreon account. There is a link below to that. You guys, go there, see what it's all about. If you want to purchase some of my work, you can also go down to that description and find a link to my Etsy store. Uh, smaller shippable items are usually there. Calculates your shipping automatically. Tax is already put in and all that good stuff. So you guys can go there, see what I've got available, and I really appreciate those purchases. So let's uh, let's keep the sawdust flying and uh, work toward wrapping this guy up. Well guys, that's it for the chainsaw work. I think it's pretty good looking for my first turkey. I got a feeling I might do some more of these. This is uh, pretty fun. You know, maybe the next one will do a bigger piece, so I'd like to have his fan out here. You know, as it should be, but work with what you got, especially on a first, you uh, make a lot of mistakes, you know? Which means the next one can only be better. So keep that in mind, you guys are, making stuff, creating art that uh, you don't always get it in the first shot. You know, sometimes you gotta do it a few times. I've said it in past videos, I'll say it again. Practice, practice, practice. And uh, yeah. You know, I put together these videos for entertainment, maybe help other people along who, you know, just kind of want some ideas or to see how to get started with, you know, carving or something. And this is how I just, I started this one as a first for me and if it'll help you out with one you want to do then cool right now i'm gonna blow this thing all off with the air hose and hit it with the torch when i come back we'll be uh cleaning it up and adding some details
guys got the turkey all carved out. Kind of see him here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of paint on the head to add just a little color so it'll kind of stand out. Normally you got some blue up here and then we got some reds. So the plan is, is to use a piece of cardboard and kind of like mist it on and try not to get it all over everything else. If you have an airbrush, this is the perfect time to do that. I have one. Honestly, I don't want to take the time to mix paint and use the airbrush and clean the airbrush and all that stuff. But on top of that, most people just use spray paint. Not everybody's got an airbrush. So we'll see what we can do here to make this thing work with a little bit of spray paint. I'm gonna probably sh maybe shoot a little white on the tips there. It lightens it up a little, not much. For the most part, it just soaks right in though and it's gone. So, except for that one spot, that one's not soaking in as much as I hope. But, there it is. Shoot some down here a little bit. There, even it out some. Now, when it comes to the head, a lot of this is gonna stay natural. We're kind of just misting the blue down the nose here, and then we'll come into using some reds. And, uh, I don't know, see how it comes out. I always feel like paint and carvings can be a real crapshoot. You can go one of two ways. Adding color makes it look great or makes it look horrible. So, yeah, we'll add some color and see what the heck happens. Nozzle control is not working very well, so, oh well. He's got a real blue head. All right, let's see what we can do here about adding some red or kind of like a maroon color I'm gonna use. The legs have a little bit of a reddish color to them sometimes. Back here, kind of missed a little bit of that on. Call them done. What do you guys think? Hope you like them. He was pretty fun to make. Now, if I do some in the future when it's nicer weather out, I'll probably take more time. Actually, bust out the airbrush. Get in here, do some real highlights because airbrushing it, you can get really really good uh, control with that paint and fading because really it shouldn't be that well it depends on the turkey but I didn't want as much blue up here I wanted the blue to stay down here and have this come up more of the wood color and I could sand it back and redo the whole thing but you know what for the sake of the video I'm gonna call this guy done hope you guys have all had a great Thanksgiving hope you got some entertainment out of this video you know remember spend some time with family eat a ton of food and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.